For this project, I'm gonna be using some plumbing fittings and resin to make a hand injector for making my own soft plastic layers and then putting it through its paces. My name's Paul Adams, welcome to The Handmade Fisherman. just rooting out a plumbing fitting and a short piece of pipe. Basically what I need to make is a metal syringe. This is a piece of 15 millimeter or half inch copper, which should do the job for the body. And for the nozzle, I'm using this compression reducer. These are normally tightened up and loosened with spanners, but I wanna be able to do this by hand as I'm working. So I'm gonna take out this metal compression ring and replace that with a rubber O-ring. So that feels like a pretty snug fit. This other end is a, is a reducer to eight mil or five sixteenth pipe. I don't need these fittings on the end, so I'm just gonna take these off. That's gonna leave me this as the end of the nozzle. The one problem I've got is down inside, there's a little stop for where the pipe would have fitted. And I think I'm gonna drill that out on the press. Because the fitting's made from brass, which is quite as soft as metals go, I'm using a step drill, as an ordinary high-speed steel bit would probably screw itself into the work, turning the whole thing into a weapon. That's left a, a pretty smooth hole in there. There is a little bit of a rim I can see, but I don't think it's anything that's critical. I'm just gonna reassemble this and give it a quick blow test. Oof, that's not pretty, but it does feel that it's, that it's airtight. Um, I know that's not scientific, but I think it's good enough to do the job. So what I need to do now is make a plunger. Um, I have experimented with this before. This is a, a dowel with some O-rings. It kind of works intermittently. So I'm going to try another experiment with a bit of uh, mixed materials. For the plunger, I used a flathead bolt, the kind of thing normally used for holding beds together. This was a little larger than the internal diameter of the pipe, so I chucked it up in the drill press and with a medium file, just slowly filed it down, checking my progress with the copper pipe until it slipped on easily with a bit of room to spare. I also flattened the head against the file to make sure it would stand up square. Then with a drop of super glue, I stuck it down to a relatively flat piece of tile. To bulk out the plunger, I needed to cast something around it. So I cut down a short piece of copper, making sure I properly deburred the ends as this was gonna act as a mold. I also spent a bit of time with a small half round file, cleaning up the inside, and then gave all that a bit of a polish with some wet and dry paper. To prevent anything sticking in there, I lubed it up with plenty of Vaseline. Once I'd placed it over the bolt head, I added a ring of modeling clay to prevent any material leaking out from what was gonna be the mold. To fill the tube, I used polyurethane resin and aluminum powder. This is something I'd used in the previous project to make a basic injection mold. I measured out one and a half milliliters of part B and then dumped in about the same amount of aluminum powder. I then added one and a half mils of part A, which nearly ended up on the floor, but I caught it just in time and then spent a minute mixing it up. I then poured it into the mold, leaving a little gap at the top to help me get it out later. After a couple of hours, it was hard enough for a little shock to get it moving. And then I tapped the bolt and its resin jacket out. To make it easy for it to move in the pipe, I took it back to the drill press and filed off a little resin until it was smoothly glided in and out of the pipe. 
to make an air seal, I needed to add an O-ring again and make a seating for it. So I thought I'd use the press as a kind of lathe and with a set of calipers, I measured the ring. This left me the depth gauge on the other end to use as a tool. It took a few seconds to figure out how to cut with this, but it did eventually peel the resin away easily, leaving me a little slot. To open this up a little, I used a very small file and tested the O-ring for a fit with the tube, gradually creeping up on it until with a bit of Vaseline, it slid in making a tight seal. For the handle of the plunger, I drilled out the back of the dowel plunger I'd made earlier with an undersized hole and then screwed the plunger into place and finally tapered down that shoulder to prevent it catching on the pipe. So that's my injector done and it looks to be working okay. I'm getting uh, proper suction on there and obviously some pressure for injecting. Uh, if anything, the tube could probably do with being a bit longer and I'll probably replace that. So to put this to use, I'm gonna use a mold I made in the previous video this already has an injector fitted, but over the weekend as I was using it, it actually worked itself loose. And what I should have done is roughened up this end so I had a mechanical fix. But anyway, that's kind of done me a favor. I'm not gonna use the hole on the back of the mold. Instead, I'm gonna fill that up with some more resin and add a injection point at the top. To prevent the resin plug coming out, I made a chamfer on the inside of the hole and then lightly pressed it into some flattened modeling clay for a seal. And it was just a case of mixing up some more aluminium and resin and then filling it up. Given an hour or so to cure, I found the back of the mold flat. And while the mold was open, I also filed a small groove in where I needed to drill the new inlet. Back on the press, I used the step drill to make a hole large enough to accept the injector. So I've got a bit of soft plastic that I've already cooked up a bit and has a bit of a uh, black colorant too. Uh, my mold's down there on the box just by the floor there, it's set up in a vise. I've got my injector ready, a uh, pair of gloves for a bit of safety. I'm gonna give this probably about 20 seconds and then hopefully we're good to go. There's really not a lot to say about using the injector. It's so simple. I sucked up some soft plastic and pumped it in. And there we go. The end, I could just push off for cleaning, but maybe it wasn't a great idea to do that into the hot soft plastic. I'm just cleaning up some bits of sprue off the worms I made at the weekend. These are for a giveaway for my patrons on Patreon. Patreon's a crowdfunding site which allows people to make donations and really keeps this channel running. The injector really worked well and it was easy to use once I figured out that I could unscrew the end <laughs> to clean the nozzle out. Um, I'm really chuffed with this and I'm going to be using it again in future projects. Like everything I make, it could probably do with a bit of improving and I've got some plans to make a larger one out of some other plumbing fittings um, and that'll probably be in a future video. Some of the problems it did throw up were actually with the mold and I think that came from trying to adapt it by drilling that porthole. It's kind of left a bit of a mess and when I'm squirting hot plastic in under pressure, I think it's creating a bit of turbulence and trapping air as it runs through. I'm gonna be back soon with another soft plastic experiment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.